Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll talk about battery replacement as well as the hard drive M.2 NVMe upgrade. If you're interested to change out the battery or maybe upgrade your M.2 drive, uh, please continue watching the video and I'll show you step by step on how to do so. Alright, so here I have the full size M.2 NVMe drive and I like to talk about upgrading that as well as this little device that I use and explain to you how to transfer the data or maybe do a cloning as well all right let's jump straight right into it here I have the Lenovo IdealPad if you're not sure what model that is take a look at the back of your laptop it says IdealPad Flex 5 14 IAU 7 so the next step you need to have is the Torque T4 screwdriver. This is the Torque 4 and we'll be removing all the screws here to get the back plate out. So the back plate is held down by all the Torque screws. So get the screwdriver out and start removing the screws. The three screws on the top, as well as the one in the middle, left and right, they are a lot longer compared to the screw that are bottom. So the screw here at the bottom is a lot shorter compared to the rest of it. And there are four screws holding down the bottom part. So once you have removed all the screws, you can get to the back plate. How do I do that? I like to work from the corner of the laptop so you can get a metal prying tool. Kind of stick it in between that plastic corner and gently pry the opening like so. Okay. Once you have a good opening of it, now you can remove the entire back cover. Alright, so here I'll do a little bit of explanation what you're looking at. This is your CPU fan. This is the heat sink. Here is your M.2 drive, Wi-Fi, and this is your battery. Alright, if you do find this video is helpful, please I appreciate you for smashing the like button for me and if you have any question regarding about computer repair you can comment down below because I do read your comment and I'll answer you and I'll answer your question through the comments all right please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and smash the like button now come back to the video here uh, we'll talk about removing the battery or replacing the battery it's very simple process what you want to do is just slide down the connector here's the connector you can just simply slide it down without any um, like the clipper or any secure stuff that you need to disconnect nothing like that so the connector you just simply slide it down to remove it and that's how you do so get yourself a Phillips screwdriver I'm using a PH1 that means it's a Phillips 1 the size of the uh, screwdriver here and start removing the screws There are three screws in total, two on the left and one on the right. Once you have removed that three screws, you can just simply lift up the battery. If your battery is swollen, as you can see my battery is brand new, it's flat. And if you feel like your battery is swollen, or maybe a lump on it, that means the battery is bad, you need to replace. If you're not sure where to find a replacement battery, you can look up for the model here. It says L21C3PE0. So look it up the model here or you can check out the link down in the description below. What I'll do is I'll link everything, the parts, the, rep uh, the tools, the re replacement parts and the tools down in the description below. 
All right, so the next step, I'd like to talk about the M.2 drive, how you're going to upgrade or replace it if you like so. I'll be using the same Phillips screwdriver. I'll be removing the two screws. Once you have removed the two screws, now you can slide the M.2, lift it up at slightly little bit half an inch off the uh, motherboard and slide it to your right and that's how you remove it the original m.2 is very small it's only half the size of the full m.2 drive so this is the half the size of it this is the m.2 half the size versus the full size m.2 all right, if you want to replace the full size M.2, you can do so, but you just do not have the heat sink on it. I believe you can't install the heat sink, can you? No, you cannot install the heat sink because of this thing would be sticking up. What you can do is just slide the entire, like the new hard drive, slide it in and get that screwdriver with the same screw, insert, and fasten that screw now you have the full size of the m.2 remember i talked about this earlier the usb m2 drive so what this is is an adapter that can read um, the m.2 data so let's just say that if you want to transfer or recover the data you can slide this one in move that screw over to the center lock it down Make sure you have the M.2 being locked down like so. Okay, it's not supposed to be like that. If your M.2 is like this, at 45 degree angle, it will not read. It has to be closed down like such. Okay, and then you can plug into any computer, USB, and recover your data. Now, if you want to clone it, meaning that if you want to transfer everything over from the original hard drive, Like original hard drive to the uh, to the replacement drive. I make a separate video for that. Let me put this one back in. Let me put this one back in together. I actually make a separate video showing you how to clone the hard drive M.2 over to the new new drive. So if you're interested with that video, please check down in the link down in the description below and uh, I'll, I'll walk everyone step by step on how to do the cloning process. Okay, I can here briefly describe to you uh, what you would expect when you do the cloning and the differences of it. Alright, so let's assume that you bought a 1TB because the original drive is too small and you want to upgrade to one terabyte or maybe two terabyte but you do not want to lose your windows you do not want to lose your programs you want to keep all your data and settings what you can do you can buy one of these usb adapter your brand new two terabyte drive or one terabyte drive whichever that is i'm using a tape but you shouldn't you should use a screw to lock it down but just for this explanation purpose i just kind of tape it down for now so i don't have this 45 degree angle uh, sliding out what you want to do is turn on the computer stick the USB in okay stick it in and then you're gonna do the cloning meaning that you're gonna clone everything over from this to the new drive okay you do need a, uh, a software to do that which I call Acronis I use Acronis true home true image to do the cloning um, if you're not sure where to buy again I'll link everything down in the description below go ahead and check it out once you do the clone over and watch my other video from start to finish how to do the cloning and um, and you would have a perfect windows everything over to the new drive and all you have to do once it's done transfer this drive over and you have the uh, everything stay the same and uh, with the larger drive all right let me install the battery back together and um, again i do really appreciate if you 
If you find this video is helpful, please uh, smash the like button for me. I would be really appreciate. And um, if you have any question, again, do not feel hesitate. Uh, comment down below because I do read the comment and I'll answer you regarding any computer stuff. Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.